so proud of myself today. I'm so proud of myself. You know what? All right, y'all. Today we have Watchmen. Now, I don't think this was in any of the suggestions because I went through the, some of the suggestions. And um, I'm going to start doing polls again, too, by the way. That sounds crazy. I'm going to start doing polls. But on Patreon members, when I, when I say I'm uh, searching through the Discord suggestions to find the movies or recommendations, I should say, to find things to watch, it's, it's just like it's they're already there and like I can tell by the like ratio and the dislike ratio, the comments, the engagement on the suggestions. I'd be like, okay, so people really want to see this. So maybe I should start taking a few of those and then bringing them to Patreon and putting them on a poll and do them, you know? Um, we can do that. So we can, that way the Patreons can still uh, have some type of input on what's being you know broadcasted but other than that guys we got watchmen on the menu today it's three hours and 30 minutes get your back ready go get water for me i'm going to get kool-aid and chicken now i'm just <laughs> it's a joke okay jeez um let's just get prepared like the video subscribe to the channel if you're on youtube if you're on patreon like the video too it's going down Guys, if you want to watch the full reaction, it's on Patreon, by the way. www.patreon.com slash Mr. Video without any cuts. We on there chilling and vibing and talking crap in the comments. But, Watchmen, y'all, let's get it. President Richard Nixon issued this warning to the Soviets. The United States does not start fights. Let it be clear to the consequences of attacking America. Outweigh the potential benefits says the 37th president of the United States. He kind of sounds like a wrestler. Doomsday clock to five minutes until midnight. Dr. Manhattan's existence. Maybe the whole world. The whole world scared of Dr. Manhattan? I mean, a walking nuclear deterrent is scary. So I get it. Uh, forgettable. Got company. Just a matter of time, I suppose. Just a matter of time. The hell this dude into? <laughs> oh, dude working though, but this ninja dude strong. He eat his Wheaties. It's a joke. It's all a joke. Yeah, it's not no joke, man. Dude was living good too. He had the most beautiful view. It was only a matter of time. What was he into? I can't wait to figure out what he was into. It had to be something serious. Or he was somebody high up something. Wherever you roam to the bone. I'm in the world goes crazy. Silk Spectra. Oof. <laughs> Sexy. Man. Is that the guy? That's the old dude. I don't know if it was him, but he got the cigar. Prison critics who prophesy the win for the time. Who has stalled the six spectra done got pregnant? I'm guessing that's Manhattan. Has to be the only explanation. Throughout the land, your sons and your daughters. Ain't no way, man. Why? He looks full of himself. It's worth saving. It's crazy how they went from back in the day being heroes to, you know, the times changing. Now they hate them. Badges, not masks. Edward Blake, 67 years old. 67? Hitting, punching through walls? That's plate glass. You have to step on the gas just to put a crack in it. That'd have been thrown. Shaking hands with the president. Whoa. Blake was a spook? Black ops. Nah, he was top dog for sure. He was he was somewhere up there. Rorschach's journal, October 12th. The city's afraid of me. I've seen its true face. The streets are extended gutter. The gutters are full of blood. Oh, he about business. Now the whole world stands on the brink, staring down into bloody hell. Smooth talkers. And all of a sudden, nobody can think of anything to say. Beneath me, this awful city. 
Dude has Silk Spectra all around his crib. Cops didn't find that. Somebody knows why. Somebody knows. I definitely heard something. Watch the door. Next time you... Did he hit him? Pirate outfits. They thought it was funny. <laughs> Pretty soon, papers get wind of it. They ran with it. And oh boy, we're a national pastime. Hooded justice, silk specter. He reminiscing. But we had it too easy. It wasn't fair. What happened to you guys? You guys, Nixon. Oh, that prick. I just think I voted for that prick five times. Hey, it was him with the commies, right? <laughs> oh, well, it's almost midnight. <clears throat> How to go? Through the language. Lord Captain Axis, remember? <laughs> he ready to relive his glory days. Rorschach is on the FBI's 10 most keen act, which banned mass hero six survivors. Forced everyone out except him <laughs> when he's dead. Yeah, he not quitting at all. He re he relentless. Hey, us retired guys have to stick together, right? Ugh. You ever miss it? No. You? Me seeing you. Yeah, yes he do. One more beer, he gonna be out on the streets. Hello, Daniel. Help myself to some beans. Cold beans. You want me to heat those up for you? <laughs> Fine. Yeah. Warshack. How have you been keeping? Out of prison. Human bean juice. Badge belong to the comedian. Let's talk downstairs. That got his attention. Ordinary burglar. The comedian. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't add up at all. Comedian. Government since 77. Knocking over Marxist republics in South America. Maybe it was a political the media made a lot of enemies over the years, even among his friends. Speaking of friends, how's Hollis Mason? He wrote that book. And I like being followed even less. You were never that sentiment. Gone one is attack on all of us. What do you suggest we do about it? Retribution. Try and have a normal life. A normal life. When you walk down the street past the human cockroaches talking about their heroin, you're hiding in plain sight. Be seeing you dead. It's a maintenance hatch. Had to let you out two blocks when we were partner. Those were great times, huh, Rorschach? You quit. Warshak just trying to warn him. He, he, he going around trying to warn the gang. Don't look like nobody gonna believe him. Feel slightly depressed. Soon there will be war. Millions will perish in sickness and misery because there is good and evil. And evil must be punished, even in the face of Armageddon and so little time. Okay, we just had a transition to anime? Captain! My foot! Hold on! Delirious from nearly drowning is the yellow indie sky. Look like the black pearl. You again, the stench of powder. <laughs> Foaming, horribly warm in the freighter's wake. In despair, I offered my weathered soul. <laughs> what do you think? Tales of the Black Freighter. Oh, the comic book. I mean, I ain't trying to be an asshole or anything, but they're the ones who are agitating us. The new frontiersman, well, it's not here yet. I'd appreciate it if you didn't stand around waiting, because I don't know when going to be here. Let's try again tomorrow, okay? You can get a different sign, man. To date, you're one of only two watchmen ever to reveal their true identity to the world. I understand there's even a movie in the works. A movie? The merchandising arm of Vice Industry, funding our work with Dr. Manhattan. We recently expanded our research facility. Our Cold War with the Russians is logical. It's based upon fear. Fear of not having enough. Vite, that sounds pretty good, but I don't know. You just seem questionable to me. Thanks for your time. War obsolete is always good to me. You look good, Adrian. Been too long. Rorschach thinks someone's hunting the Watchmen. Rorschach's a sociopath, Dan. You know that better than anyone. I'm not here because I miss him. Actually, the whole world knows yours. That's why I'm warning you first. He don't seem worried. Thank you, Dan. If the Russians do launch their nukes, can John really stop them? The Soviets have 51,000 warheads stockpiled. Even if John stops, still kill every living thing on Earth. Madness. Even Dr. Manhattan can't be everywhere at once. October 13th, meeting with Dryberg left bad taste in the flabby failure who sits whimpering in his base for Silk Spectre as a bloated aging war. Hey! Mothman's in an asylum in Maine. We get it. Things aren't the same anymore. I shall go to them. I shall go tell the indestructible man that wants to murder him. How do you murder an indestructible man? What are you doing here? The comedian is dead. Rorschach wants me to look into my future. Already warned, driver. Damn the warn you too. Even if I wanted to help. Interference? Caused by what? The United States and Soviet Union engage in all-out war. The resulting blast wave would produce a sudden burst of tech. Therefore, obscuring my vision of the present. I must return to my work. Wait a minute. <laughs> 
Took a lot of effort to get in here and it's not leaving. So I've had my say. <laughs> he didn't even get to finish what he said. Manhattan teleported that man out of there. Seems like there's a lot of things you don't tell me these days. I didn't want to worry you prematurely. If Adrian or not. That's true, then how can you change the future? If only you could perceive time as I do. Magic! Dreams! That is what I had before! I was a hero, god damn it! It was a mistake. One time! And tries to rape you. Hey, whoa, whoa! Your mind goes to dark places and you wonder why I keep the worst from you. For the first S S Silk Spectra, Eddie tried to R word? You want to ask me to go to dinner with you? You know I can't. So you call Dan, which is only natural. You deserve the comfort of an old friend. You know, Manhattan powers are cool and all, but it has to be such a damn burden. I wouldn't even want to go ask Manhattan anything. I'd walk in the room and just be like, just tell me. You know what I want to ask. Tell me the answer. Captain Carter. Do you used to pretend he was a super villain? He starts following me down the street in broad daylight saying no. I only pulled that on Rorschach and Rorschach dropped him down an elevator shaft. Rorschach cold. <laughs> 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 oh, that's not even funny. That's crazy. Really good to see you again. Dress up like that. No one else would. Yeah, but do you remember my costume? Yeah, yeah. Awful. The awful, yeah. <laughs> John thinks, unless he can do something about it, that there's gonna be nuclear war soon. I don't know what to think. I mean, it's all keeps getting further away from me, everyone. If he's pretending, it means he cares. Guy stuff, yeah. Hold on, let's get the door. Definitely, if he's pretending, he still cares. When he stopped pretending, that means just go. Yeah. I invite you out to dinner to catch up and have a few laughs, but there don't seem to be that many laughs around these days. What do you expect? The comedian's dead. Hell of a punchline. Hello, darkness, my old... This is the sound of silence. They've been jamming with the soundtrack on this movie so far. I did a reaction to this song. If you didn't know, type Mr. Video, sound of silence. Of silence. Now the streets are coming here he go with the sign again. <coughs> Lori, is that you? The first sp Silk Spectra. Margarita? Mother, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. Eight page porno comic they did in the 30s and 40s. No comic? Sure, they're very valuable like antiques. Oh. Mother, this is gross. It slide it my way. <laughs> why do you always call me mother when you're mad? I know why you're here. Eddie Blake's funeral is today. Finally got his punchline, I guess. Uh. They doing Eddie dirty. After what he did to you? Lori, you're still young. You don't know. Three o'clock, my studio. Photo session. Wonder how my hair looks. Eddie, keep walking, man. I'll be there in five. Sure I did. Come on, baby. I said no, Eddie. Eddie, she said no. No, spelled Y-E-S. No, spelled N-O. Come on, sweetheart. <laughs> Eddie, that's it. <laughs> Eddie! <laughs> I watched him punch through a wall, so I know this hurt. Eddie, Eddie! Really? Like, you're supposed to be the comedian, bro. This ain't funny. Bastard! Things are tough all over, and he always thought he'd get the last laugh. Rest in peace, the comedian. I don't even know what to say. Dude, just try to take the Silk Spectra up top. She said no, Eddie. Woman tell you no, go. Eddie enjoying every bit of this. Fireworks. You got me kidding me. You know, if we lost here in Vietnam, I think it might have driven us crazy. You know, as a country. You sound bitter. Me? Bitter? I think it's hilarious. War is over now. We must talk about this baby. Eddie, really? I'm gonna forget about you and your horrible, sweaty little piece of sh country. Get the f out of here. Eddie, that's cold. You all remember me? <laughs> My face! Eddie! Bruh! She pregnant! Bro! I was pregnant. And you gunned her down. That's right. You know what? You watched me. You really don't give a damn about human beings. You're drifting out of touch, Doc. How you gonna spin it back on Manhattan like that? 
you don't care about human beings. You could have stopped me. I mean, in a way, that's kind of crazy, Manhattan. I don't want to have to blame you, but. Oh, dude. He really just smoked that lady. I told you you wouldn't be the only one dressed up. Who is this? Thank you for coming today. I ask you to acquaint yourselves with this map of high crime. I can never tell when you're joking. Watch me. Look, Rorschach and I have made real headway on the gang problem by working together. We can save this world with the right leadership. Yeah. I mean, how do I do the smartest man on the planet? You hear Moloch's back in town, get your panties on a bunch. You think catching him matters? Justice matters. No matter what the Probably why he said it's a matter of time in the beginning. Ain't nothing gonna matter once those nukes start flying while we dust. Yeah. Hey, they've been doing a thing on the soundtrack. Please, there's no need for violence. You're trying to retain order on the streets until the police strike is over. I'm going to like it. I signed up police officer. That's how you want to do it? Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Oh, man. Eddie, come on, bro. This dude out here knocking out protesters. Oh, this is good. This dude is crazy. God damn, I love working on American soil, Dan. <laughs> Ain't had this much fun since Woodward and Burns. Our days are numbered. Till then, it's like you always say, society's only protection. <laughs> Get your stinking hands off me. You know, Eddie has crazy ways, but is he sort of like a necessary evil? The stuff he did to Spectre was out of control. Not talking about that. What happened to the American dream? It came true. You're looking at it. Edgar William Jacobson, known as Edgar William Bond, also known as Malik. <laughs> what are you talking about? I break another finger. I'm not Malik anymore. What do you want from me? Heard you attended Blake's funeral. Pay my respects to the comedian. How did you know he was the comedian? He broke in here. A week ago, I woke up in my bedroom, and there he was, crying. Crying. Babbling, not making any sense. I thought he was gonna kill me. I done some bad things. I did bad things for women. I, I shot kids. And your name? Oh, your name was on the list, along with Janie. I don't know what the hell he was talking about. Sound hard to believe, but what? Mm, clean. You know, clean. Don't confiscate that. Uh, I'm, I'm trying anything. I have cancer. You know the kind you eventually get better from? That ain't the kind I got. Rorschach's trip, October 16th. Planned during his years behind bars. You. I make more in a week than you make in a year. Are you mad because I didn't want none of your nasty vagina? What could have possibly scared the comedian cry in front of Moloch? What was it he saw? Is that what happens to us? Time magazine for me there? Show what you want for it now. For you? What? <laughs> Going up, huh? Thanks. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Come finish the story. He might well just buy it. It was all I could do for her. Though she had borne me through seas of blood, her damp embrace had prevented me from drifting beyond reach. Yet this small comfort birds were eating his thoughts and memories. Wait, no! Don't worry. We've got plenty of time. Your fingers like licking a battery. Is your fingers like licking a battery? <laughs> That's something you don't expect to hear during sex. I wonder if he can make his, you know, ah, it's crazy to say, if his thing bigger and smaller. What are you doing? Please don't be upset. I always thought you liked this. No. No. I don't want that. I don't know what stimulates you anymore. Look, I know you were just trying. Are you working? Oh, he was dude. With Adrian's at a critical stage right now. He was working and doing it. My attention was completely focused. If you think there's a problem with my attitude, I am prepared to discuss it. Have your men stand back. I'm teleporting the reactor to Karnak now. You're my only remaining link to the world. I don't want that responsibility anymore. 
breaking up with me? He's all yours. Don't worry, John. She'll be back. No, she won't. They keep trying to say, do you care about humans? Why do they keep trying to do that to him? Dang, I'm starting to question it. Do we care about humans? Seems pretty cool to me. Well, answer my question. <laughs> Sorry, I just had this new lock installed. I didn't know where else to go. Oh, it's okay. Uh, come in. I left John. Oh, God. Hey, you probably just had an argument. No, Dan. You don't know what it's been like living with him. The way he looks at things now, it's like he doesn't remember what they are. Walking through a mist and people are just shadows. Shadows in a fog. Come on. I'm glad you came over. I was just going to see Hollis for our weekly beer session. You're more than welcome to join. Dan's cool. Pretty sure he is happy to see her. Shoot. I wonder what's up with Manhattan. You know, what does he think about our world? Oh, terrific. Dr. Manhattan arrives. No one thinks to tell me. Well, he teleported here. It's quick. The way to the world's on him. Quit that. Excuse me. There's always cool. They're the care about that right wing rag so much. Those about you, pal. Hold up. Yeah, well, I'm in a bad mood. Nobody bad enough with her. As soon as I said something. Here's a list of Pentagon approved no-go areas. Afghanistan will obviously come up, but just play it cool. Who through a terrible accident was gifted with extraordinary power. <laughs> Let's have some fun. <laughs> Dr. Manhattan, as you know, doomsday clock is symbolic clock face analogizing its proximity to extinction. I would only agree that a symbolic clock is as nourishing to the intellect as a photograph of oxygen. In a world without nuclear weapons, there would still be. You are in fact a god. See the past and future simultaneously. I can only see my own path. We were both physicists together at the Gila Flats Research Bay. He died of cancer. He was a good man. How about Edgar Jacob, also known as the supervillain Mola? I wasn't told. And what about General Anthony Randolph? Started working for the government. Okay, so what are you trying to say? Everybody around me gets cancer? From where I'm standing, it's starting to look pretty conclusive. That's the case. It's irrelevant. What about Janie Slater? I think it makes a difference to her. Isn't that right, Miss Slater? She's here? You are the world to me, John. You are my whole life. I stopped by you after the accident. I gave you everything. Is that how you repay me? Janie. Janie! Yeah, stop all this madness! Teleport out of there, Manhattan. Did they catch that on the, on the broadcast? <sighs> they are hurting, beat up, teeth punched out. Watch your mug. Might get your ass kicked. I'm just gonna call it a night. You sure you don't wanna come by Hollis's with me? It helped having you listen. Take care, Dan. It's a rough world out there. Be seeing you. I thought of my family, my wife, my daughters, vulnerable, unsuspecting. Over here! Ridley had brought me a sale. Perhaps this could be my route back to Davidstown. Good looking, Ridley. He even looked out in death, you know? Brung him a sale. Ooh, I'd become inflated with gas. I shuddered at my own idea. They sought to fulfill their duty, making our vessel more buoyant. And I would do my duty to them in returning them home. Rudely jarring my men from eternal rest and laying them in the bed I prepared. I waited for the tide, then, Embarking hope can be a horrible thing. He know how to survive. I, I could say that. Breakfast. Ridley. They're probably like it's a buffet over here. He's gone. Who's gone? Doctor Manhattan. What's left us? Gone where? Where did he go? Doctor Manhattan just lost it on live TV. Hey, hey. I said, be alone. <laughs> Of course it cuts off, make it look even worse than what it was. Well, he did teleport them all out of there, probably to their home. They're so far away, and their light takes so long to reach us. It's July 1959, and I am in love. Hey. <laughs> oh, that's Manhattan before the transformation. She is a physicist. Like me, I am 30 years old. We were introduced by a good friend of mine from college, Wally Weaver. <laughs> He looked like a Wally Weaver. It is February 12th, 1981. Wally dies of cancer, of which they now say I am the cause. 
Oh, I'll uh, catch up with you guys. I think I left my watch inside. I cross the room to the intrinsic field center. I find my watch. When I get to the door, I am terrified. I'm sorry, John, but I can't. Don't leave me! It is May 12th, 1959, when I'm introduced to Janie. She buys me a beer. The first time a woman has done this for me. A token funeral is held. There is nothing to bury. Janie frames the snapshot. A few days later, a partially muscled skeleton stands in the hallway and screams for a moment before being held. Off rip that was John. World still reeling from this morning's announcement. We repeat, Superman exists and he is American. They call me Dr. Manhattan. The marketing boys say I need a logo. If I'm to have a symbol, it shall be one I respect. They are shaping me into something gaudy, something lethal. In January 1971, President Nix asks me to intervene in Vietnam. A week later, the conflict ends. In it, he calls my arrival the dawn of the superhero. I am not sure if I know what that means. And he is American. What I said was, God exists, and he is American. And worried. She says, I am like a god now. I tell her, I don't think there is a god. And if there is, I'm nothing like him. A very young girl looks at me. She's beautiful. After each long kiss, she plants a smaller, gentler one upon my lips, asking if it's because she's getting older. It's true. It happens to us humans, man. I am tired of Earth, these people. I'm tired of being caught in the tangle of their lives. So he is tired of us. He don't like people. Manhattan! <laughs> Where did this dude go? They claim their labors are to build a heaven. Perhaps nothing is made without a craftsman. It's too late. Was he on Mars or something? He left Earth? Our satellites have done a sweep of the entire... There's no trace of his energy signature anywhere. It's Jupiter. It is when you're on government payroll and you're not doing your job. As close to the word whore as you're gonna get with me, Agent. Jupiter don't around. My apologies, Mr. Jupiter. Given how important Dr. Manhattan is to our national security, you can imagine our concern. Laurel Jane, Sally Jupiter's kid. You got her eyes, you know. You can have that same funny little mole. Eddie, take it easy. Yeah, Eddie. A long time, no say. Not long enough in my book. Get in the car. We found him. Where is he? Mars. I knew it. Dude, left to Mars. I'm getting off this planet. The Soviets had their tanks just short of the Afghan. And they're testing us. Hoax, they move out of If they realize it's not a hoax, they'll probably start with airstrike. If they do, they'll have Afghanistan under control in a matter of days. Two minutes until midnight. Get this shit off the screen. Yeah, screw this damn doomsday clock. Who's to say when doomsday approaches? I say when doomsday is approaching. Okay, that's crazy, Nixon. What about the rest of the Warsaw Pact? Czechoslovakia, Poland, letting the Russians take the lead. Moves, Henry. That's what's needed right now. We can't let the first think we're weak. It must be the madman, Nixon. Our USSR before they get their missiles there. What would our losses be? We'll lose all of the East Coast. Oh my goodness. Hey, I'm on the East Coast. With the Harvard establishment, see them think their way out of vision. Mexico will catch the worst of it. Most of the farm belt might remain unaffected. Not so bad. Not so bad. Considered? All things considered. Mr. President, what would you like to do? Take us to DEFCON 2. After that, humanity is in the hands of a higher authority than mine. Let's just hope he's on our side. Radio transmissions, space shuttles. Excuse me. What? I need to use the restroom. <laughs> this girl don't play. Her mama taught her right. Don't you understand? The only thing that can bring John back is John. If he wants to find me, he will. Do the Russians into peace. People are going to need good old-fashioned energy to rely on. You can understand. The world can't just quit on oil and nuclear power or cold turkey. We might just have to make a public inquiry. Leaving me alone. I guess you could say I've always been alone. I mean, they say I'm the smartest man in the world, but the truth is I often felt stupid. Being unable to relate to any, anyone living, that is. Alexander the Great. I wanted, needed to match his accomplishments. So began my path to conquest. Conquest not of fossil fuels, oil. The world will survive, and it deserves more than you've been able to provide. So let's cut to it, shall we? Privately, I'm worth more than all of your corporations. I think you know the way out. Vita seems so sketchy. 
He's pushing for world, you know, peace. Seems all the old villains are dead. Mr. Veidt? I think I have some ideas. Mr. Veidt, I think we got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> Don't bite down two cents, you. Give me a name! They tried to assassinate Fight. Failed attempt. Potassium cyanide. The guy was dead before he hit the ground. Then Rorschach was right. It wasn't some lone nut, but it's not safe out here. So, uh, no word from John? No. Well, listen, um, why don't you come stay with me? Think of it as doing me a favor. Okay. She agreed. <laughs> Rorschach's journal, October 21st, 1985. An affair. Did she break Manhattan's heart to engineer his exile to make room for Dryberg? Does Manhattan even have a heart to break? The alley was cold, deserted. No way. That dude with the sign better not be Rorschach. My spotless gloves, my face. I abandoned my disguise. Byte's assassin was a local lowlife named Roy Chess. At his apartment, I found clues. Guy worked for Pyramid Transnational. Malik might be dead. Last time I was here, I saw a pension check written from the same company. Who runs Pyramid? Yeah. Yeah. This is the police. We know you're in there. No. No. This is crazy. They're going to think he did this. <laughs> Warshak, don't kill any of them. They definitely ain't gonna let you out. We have number. I knew it! Warshak slit! Little's yet known about Kovac. What? Dude, Warshak done show up to uh, the comedian's funeral as, as, his, as his regular face. Now his identity is up. This is not good. Yeah, this guy was a cook. But Rorschach. Well, let me get a gazette. Yeah. He was a customer of mine. He used to come here all the time. <laughs> now nah, he bragging. Yeah, Rorschach shot with me. He didn't know he didn't buy anything, but he came. <laughs> Whoever we are, wherever we reside, I hardly recognize my old friend Riddle. I could not bring myself to tell him he was a horrible reflection of his former self. Yo, he's dead, man. I've heard that in less than a pint daily, a man might survive drinking salt water. Isolation has made you mad. But we must try. You are a fool. You alone survived the freighter's attack. Fortune has smiled upon you, and you spit in its face. Turn your wretched craft around. Far away. As far away as you can. Your wife, dead. Your children, dead. Shut your mouth. You're dead. Don't listen to this guy. Like you have failed. If I fail in my attempt, I take solace in the fact that I will see my family again. Well, there is no heaven. Can't believe me, sir. I would know by now. Yeah, because you've been dead for a while. Now you're down here talking to me. Walter, is that your name? Walter, do cooperate with me and I may be able to... I believe that'd be good for you. But the authorities want to put you with the general population. Prison's a prison. Ah, uh, yes. You're responsible for a lot of them being in prison here, Walter. Well, tell me what you see. I'm kidding you. I should have had that Mom. Just worried about you? Some nice flowers. I heard this guy's mom before. Yeah, you, yeah, you're crossing the line, bro. Tell me about Rorschach. What do you do that, Walter? You keep calling me Walter. There are other men in here with behavior more extreme than mine, Doctor. Of course, they're not famous, are they? You want to know about Russia? I'll tell you about Russia. Six-year-old girl. I was young then. Too soft on criminals. I let them live. Broke a man's arm to get a tip. I knew the girl was here. But when I searched the place, I saw nothing. And then I found her. No. They burned her. Okay, that's Oh my unbelievable. Who's got a bark for daddy? Who's out there? Who is it? Warshack 
Off the docks. Arrest me! I did it! I said I did it! I've got a problem, man. Can take me. I need help. Ah, oh, don't no, don't put a sympathy crap. No! Oh! Oh! Get arrested. Blocks get put down. Worse! Worse! Shit! Oh my goodness, y'all. Warm blood splashed my face. Whatever was left of Walter Kovacs died that night with that little girl. From then on, there was only Rorschach. God saw what any of us did that night. He didn't seem to mind. From then on, I knew. God doesn't make the world this way. We do. Hmm. Rorschach. I can't help him. He said, I can't help him. He's unhelpable. <laughs> hey, you're pretty famous, right? <laughs> Bro, Shaq, baby. Ain't that right? That's right. They better leave him alone. You know, maybe I can give you an autograph, huh? What you say, big boy? <laughs> he doesn't want your autograph. <laughs> I'm not locked in here with you. I touch it! <laughs> You're locked in here with me! Well, Rorschach is out of control. He poured fried chicken grease on uh, the black dude. Lori! Ah! She about to burn the place down. Snooping around and I must have hit the wrong button. Are you hurt? I'm fine. I just feel so bad. Oh, Archie survived that. How'd you ever afford all this stuff? Well, my dad was in corporate banking and left me a lot of money when he died. I think he was disappointed that I'm in crime fighting instead of following him. Guess I was just more interested in airplanes, mythology. Like Hollis. Yeah, he was my hero. Man, I, I remember the first time that I met him, I just felt so connected, you know? You want to try those on? Wow, these rock. <laughs> They amplify the spectral ring. You can see me, right? Dang! Things 4K. In the dark? No matter how black it got, whenever I looked through those goggles, the thing was as clear as day. So you can always see me. Basically. Must be the way John sees the world. You should probably head up. The food's getting cold. John sees a lot of things, but he doesn't see me. Oh. <laughs> he said, oh, right here? I wouldn't... I, weirdly, I would be thinking about John the whole time. I know it sounds crazy, but <sighs> she's so ready. A long time, Rorschach. Big figure, small world. <laughs> small world. I like that. Oh, it is a small world in here, and I've been in it for how long now, Lloyd? Almost 15 years, Mr. Figure. Could go any minute. I'm gonna turn this guy a new hole. Relax, Lawrence. Rorschach didn't even flinch. Get y'all asses up out of here. See you at lunch. I got hot grease for everybody. <laughs> Horrible dream. Oh no, sharks. Hades is lonely. And in that instant, we knew each other. My raft had grown increasingly grotesque. This dude is the luckiest guy ever. You done got saved so many times in the water. The vessel had surely reached Davidstown already. I pictured quiet streets overrun beans from the black freight. My children most certainly dead. Father, he's... Wait! And his family's heads are on the boat. He's hallucinating. Wait! Wait! Anyone! I'd swallowed too much seawater. I'd swallowed too much horror. Truly, life is hell. I want to join my family desperately. What you reading? A hell of a story or a comic. You leave that kid alone. Shut up, old man! <laughs> You're reading a comic book? <laughs> what are you doing? Coming from the guy with that haircut, really? <laughs> oh, where you going, short boss? Is everything all right? I'm tired of being afraid. Afraid of war. And how much I need it. Me too. So to hell with it. Let's take Archie out. You're serious. I used to be a mass Avenger too, remember? I'm used to going out at three in the morning and doing something stupid. Yeah, they're gonna do it, it looks like. <laughs> I like the outfit, Miss Jupiter. Stuck the landing. Let's move it, people. 
Too close. <laughs> Look at job. World War Three could start tomorrow, right? Right. It's a perfect place to get it on that hovering in the sky in a nice little ship. I've been there. I've been there before. I've been there, done that, y'all. No, I'm just joking. Of course, I haven't been in a damn ship. One day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. You know they don't. I mean, they show the sex scenes in the movies, but this is kind of vivid. She really bouncing on that thing. Dude, Manhattan gonna be pissed off. He's going to blow, and once he blow, it's over for us. Even though it all... Bruh, he really stroking her, though, y'all. What the heck? You know, sometimes I wonder if they really sitting here, you know... I, okay, no, they're not. It's a movie. I'm tripping. They got a sock on down there. It's a sock down there. <laughs> that was all right. The guy that got the hot grease thrown on him just died. He's dead, Rorschach. He's next on the block. Bring it on, Butterbean. Get that, Rorschach. Your hands, my pleasure. I can't. Did I cut the bar? <laughs> Not the <for> personal <laughs> big guy. <laughs> This movie spared no limb. Mutation. I think we're out of spring, Rorschach. Why? Breaking into a maximum security prison is a little different than putting out a fire. It'll be more fun. No. Come on, little man. You net. Never disposed of sewage with a toilet before. Obvious, really. Your move. He running. <laughs> you gonna have to wait 15 more years, buddy. How do we know he's still alive? <laughs> he's Rorschach. Where's my face? having too much fun beating people up together. Give a shot while you had a chance. <laughs> Daniel, Miss Jupiter, excuse me, have to visit men's room. <laughs> he, he doodling on himself in there. He really just doodled? Warshack. Good to see you in uniform, Daniel. No, no, you needed was a nice pair of legs to motivate you. Someone put you up to it. You know what? You're hurt. What hey, are you talking hey, about? Hey, hey, you two stop. You can argue later. I had to turn those screechers off, so we'll be drawing fire. All right, fellas, y'all wasting bullets now. Hey, you all right? Yeah. She thinking about Manhattan. Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. Oh, speaking of Manhattan. TV said you were on Mars. I am on Mars. You and I are about to have a conversation there. Lori, don't. Dan, trust me. I have to go. Oh my god, I'm on Mars. Ah, uh, here these guys go again. Just busted Rorschach out of prison. Rorschach? Yeah, that fool put my cousin in a wheelchair. You mean night out. Maybe he messed your cousin up too. Man, yeah, Barbara messed all y'all hair up. Y'all should be worried about that. Does he now? <laughs> Y'all mad at the wrong person. Leave Rorschach alone. Go shoot y'all barbers first. Yes, Hollis Mason. All this time you've had my number and you wait until our sunset years to use it? Special occasion, Sal. From the sound of your voice, you're sounding younger than ever. You take care now, Hollis. Bye. We're looking for Mr. Hollis. Don't open it, Hollis. Don't open it, Hollis. He's been waiting for this. Whoop they ass, Hollis! Oh. Oh. No way. Cowering in cave, hiding from authorities. 
cops are out there hunting us. Unless you want to go back to prison, we'd be stupid to expose ourselves with a... We need to hit up underworld contacts. Squeeze people. Gun to the sock. Who do you, who do you think you are, Rorschach? You, you, you live off people while insulting... I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have said that, man. That's how you been feeling. That's how you been feeling. You are a good friend. I know it can be difficult with me sometimes. Let's do it your way. Let's do it the Rorschach way. Don't forget to throw it in the journal, Rorschach. His journal probably full with a lot of good stories. Pyramid Transnational. Anyone heard of it? Bastard. Buddy, oh! stay calm. We'll try to keep this brief. Pyramid payroll tried to kill Adrian Veidt. Dead now. Did you know him? No. Oh! I hired him. I knew him from the inside. By whom? I contact Miss Slater. Uh, Works for Pyramid. Yeah, she was real nice. Miss Slater. Oh, well, well, Manhattan's old girlfriend. Adrian's people might help us find out who's underwriting Pyramid. Known as the not leaving the area right around... <sighs> He's not gonna like this. He gonna flip. W yeah. Who did it? I knew you were gonna victimize me. What about my civil rights? Huh? Man, look at your hair, bro. <laughs> oh man. You tell your friends they're dead. Damn it! Not in front of the civilians. This is where we hold our conversation. You know about me and Dan? Not yet. But in a few moments, you're going to tell me. If you already know the future, then why even argue about it? Don't you know how this is gonna end? She got a point. Everything is preordained, even my responses. Wow. Going through the motions. The most powerful thing in the universe, still just a puppet. And what if you're wrong? Why does my perception of time distress you so? Because it's inhuman. Because it makes me insane. I'm sorry I slept with Dan. You slept with Dan. You already knew, dude. That you already knew about Dan. His responses. That you were my only remaining link to humanity. Why would I save a world I no longer have any stake in? Okay, Manhattan. When you left me, I left Earth. Does that not show you that I care? It's time, gentlemen. Take us to Death Conworn. Not in Penthouse. Daniel, you with me? And what are you doing? I'm gonna look for Adrian's itinerary. Maybe he keeps on file. Something's not right. Agreed. Janie Slater, Molly, whoever owns Pyramid could be giving these people cans and hatting up. Bite Enterprises? Does he have something to do with all of this? Got a site profile on Manhattan. See what the corporate head people say. Subject continues to retreat emotionally. We predict total detachment from the human condition. Vite International. Vite's behind it. All, no way. Vite's behind all of this? I mean, I knew he looked like a shady guy, but what the hell, he tried to assassinate himself? This represents the culmination of a dream more than 2,000 years old. A dream now assured because of your unquestioning assistance. Our new peaceful world will be in debt your great sacrifice. What's his end game? I cannot imagine a more dangerous opponent. Used to joke he was fast enough to catch a bullet in Antarctica. Whether I'm alive or dead upon this reading, I hope the world survives long enough for this journal to reach you. Rorschach, November 1st. Is that Rorschach's journal? He just dropped off somewhere. I know it's some fire in there. That's a little early for you, huh? I wanted to finish the story before school. He got away with reading this old comic without buying it. Look, David Stout. I was only miles away. By now, the town was overrun. The man I recognized, a moneylender from Davidstown. With Davidstown certainly captured, why would this scoundrel and his wench be allowed free passage for this midnight? He called a wrench. Had he betrayed my people, my family? My decision was hurried, but not difficult. He killed the wench too? A buccaneer's horn deserves no pity. Oh, well, okay. Show this. All right. I trotted unhurriedly. My David's time was not as I last saw it. I found the streets conspicuously silent. One, however, was awake, frantic, lest he should raise alarms. No pirates come, but something was. I looked his family. safe for their terror. My love, why? So I ran. My deduction was flawless. Save us the trouble. It ends with you in tears. Tears, so you don't come back to Earth. At some point, the streets are filled with death. Everyone will die. Help, Manhattan. In my opinion, the existence of life is a highly overrated phenomenon. Hey, hey, 
Hey, Manhattan! Just look around you. Mars gets along perfectly well without so much as a microorganism. Here, it's a constantly changing topographical map, flowing. So it's too much to ask for a miracle. Miracles, by their definition, are meaningless. Oh, God, John! It's impossible to argue with John. I know that you were wrong. You said this ended with me in tears, and look, maybe you were wrong about everything. You complain that I refuse to see life on life's terms, that you continuously refuse to see things from my perspective. Go ahead, show me. Bad dreams, that is what I had to I was a hero, God! Back to this moment. What do you have to complain about? I'm putting food on the table for you and your child. Why don't you call your friend Eddie? You got her eyes, you know. Have that Take your hands off. Her. Get in the car. Now. Are there no deaths you won't say to? Oh, that guy I talked to was, you know, old friend's daughter. Was he about to say his daughter? I thought, wait a minute, wait a minute. Dude stopped him, him from our wording her. Years later, you let him finish the job. Or you're drunk or just lonely. Also, they did have sex. Lord. She's Eddie's daughter. No. It's a whoa. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I thought that earlier, but I'm like, no, because he didn't, you know, get to finish what he started, so it couldn't be. But she doubled back and let him have sex with her. My life is just one big joke. Will you smile? Events with astronomical odds of occurring, like oxygen turning into gold. Out of that contradiction against unfathomable odds, it's you. Something so beautiful came from all of that chaos. Her. A miracle. And so, I was wrong. Now dry your eyes. And let's go home. Manhattan coming back home? That is, that was just all crazy, man. Eddie's her father. So, <laughs> he got smiley face out there on Mars. So maybe, um... Manhattan believes in humans now, after what he just said. Seemed like he got a newfound love for us. Come and take my <laughs> Rough landing. It's gonna take a while! Bite. We on the way. He sees them approaching. Adrian's a pacifist. Vegetarian, for Christ's sakes. He's never killed anyone in his life. Hitler was vegetarian. Squeamish, leave him to me. We won't get second chance. I didn't know Hitler was a vegetarian the first time I heard that one. Hush up, Bella. Good try, Rorschach. <laughs> We know everything. And what's there to discuss, Dan? Plenty. You killed Comedian. May he rest in peace. Blake figured it out first. Nixon had him keeping tabs on us, making sure we weren't rocking the boat. Wow. Put roughly two billion dollars into Tachyon research to block John's vision. Used his psych profile to manipulate him. I've known John long enough to see he isn't devoid of emotion. All he needed to do was tug on the thread. A sudden flood of emotion John felt when to believe he'd given cancer to the loved. All these people were lying. I knew it was something up when she took that wig off. Paid him to throw us off. Mr. Chess gave his life in the service of a higher cause than your mass killer theory. One you followed with the tenacity of a true sociopath. I tipped off the police. Sorry to disappoint you. Dude, they can't mess with Vite. We were supposed to make the world a better place. A few key regions around the globe. New York, Los Angeles, Moscow. The comedian was right. Humanity's savage nature will inevitably lead to global annihilation. Killing millions. To save billions. I'm not a comic book villain. I triggered it 35 minutes ago. It's already in action. How had I reached this appalling position with love? Only love as my guide. You had more than love as your guide. You luck too. The vessel seemed to be waiting. And lurching mast filled all my vision. All my well-meaning plans had come to this. There had been no plan to capture David's town. They'd come to wait until they could collect the only prize they value. Man, this don't make no sense. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. Why the hell didn't we get a launch detection? It's not the Soviets, sir. 
Dr. Manhattan. They're blaming Manhattan. This wasn't caused by nuclear warhead. It was me, Adrian. Pick of the devil. It, you the devil, right? John. I know. Must stop him. Blake, kill millions. Wait here. I should thank you. I'd almost forgotten the excitement of not knowing. The delights of uncertainty. <laughs> No way that worked. You're such an asshole. <gasps> Double tap. <laughs> I've heard her out. Then, uh, grow up. Schoolboy heroics are done. What have they achieved? Failing to prevent Earth's salvation is your only child. I'm disappointed in you, Adrian. Hey! Adrian gave him extra power. Thinking you was doing something. Reassembling myself was the first trick I learned. I have witnessed events so tiny and so fast. They can hardly be said to have occurred at all. But you, Adrian, are just a man. Then does its smartest termite. What's that? Another ultimate weapon? You could say that. An act of evil perpetrated by Dr. Manhattan. Since the attacks, we have both pledged to unite against this common enemy. To defend the human race. So they're uniting now, fighting together? They have Manhattan as a common enemy. I've saved the Earth from hell. We both have. This is as much your victory as it is mine. Now we can return. We were meant to exact justice. Everyone's gonna know what you've done. Well then, by exposing me, you would sacrifice the peace so many died for. Them. Exposing Adrian would only do the world to nuclear destruction again. No. If we hope to preserve it here, we must remain silent. Keep your own secrets. Of course, he's reluctant. Don't even think about it. It's always been the difference between us, Daniel. I've made myself feel every day. You understand, don't you? Without condoning or condemning, I understand. He understands? Out of my way. People have to be told. You know I can't let you do that. Suddenly you discover humanity. Convenient. But I can't change human nature. Of course, you must protect by its new utopia. What's one more body amongst foundations? What are you waiting for? Do it! Ah! I just, man. For the good of humanity, for the greater good, for this, oh. Do. And he's in one of the shapes that be on his mask. That's the kissing one. I thought you said you cared about life again. I think maybe I'll create some. Goodbye, Lori. Take your anger out. Take it out. A world united in a peace that had to be sacrificed. That's the real practical joke. Nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. Sure you don't want a drink? I'm okay. Cheers. She's still sipping up. <laughs> I know that Eddie Blake was my father. She's, she's accepting it. I'm sorry I never told you. I don't know, I just felt... People's lives take them strange places. They do strange things. And well, sometimes they can't talk about them. I know how that is. Why I wasn't mad at him. Because he gave me you. I'll be right back. So how's it going up here? Good. How's it going down there? I think I've got everything working. That sounds like a date. <laughs> what are we talking about here? Are we gonna be all right? As long as people think John's still watching us, we'll be all right in the end. Is that an electric car? Got nothing to write about anymore. Every country in the world are holding hands now, singing songs about peace and love. <laughs> Ronald Reagan says he's going to be running for president, and he could uh, run a piece on that. Well, we don't dignify absurdities with coverage. Run whatever you like. Horshack's Journal. Horshack's Journal? 1985. A comedian died in New York. It's about to go down. Let me make sure I ain't missing no after credit scene, man. Okay, it's no after credit scene. Dog. They dropped Warshack's Journal off. There goes the world peace. <laughs> there goes the peace. See, now it's in his hands. That guy has a great responsibility. He's going to look at that and see that world peace is just a big old lie. 
and everybody's coming together and holding hands off one big lie. And he could put the truth in the newspaper, boom. Everybody's against each other again. Let's bring the newts back. Let's do all this. Let's visit them. See, now I'm conflicted. I, I, the world peace stuff sounds great. Everybody hold hands, one big hippie world. I take it. Other than it's either that or nukes. Which one would y'all prefer? Fighting, nukes, 15 million people got to die to save this, and this person got to die, they die. Or everybody holding hands. Chilling, worried about one common enemy that's not even here anymore. I take that way. It's just me. Um, I find it crazy that she doubled back to Eddie after Eddie tried to push up on her. Like, that's crazy. To even try to double back to something like that. Every time I would look at his face, I'd be like, like, she must have been going through something. <laughs> this movie was absolutely crazy. Zack Snyder is out of control. Dude, when he grabbed that axe and was chopping dude's head, that was crazy. This And this has to be. Uh, for it to be acting, I think this is the most I've seen in a sex scene. You know, usually they show the top half of the actor's bodies. Maybe some titties. Maybe his dick or something, you know. But they don't show him really just... He looked like he was really inside of her, pounding her, stroking her. And See? Oh, gosh. Where am I getting here? See, it was a lot of porn in this in this uh, movie. In this, this, ah, see? How did I get to that? We're talking about world peace, and I bring up. Okay, guys, we're going to get out of here. I'm doing damage myself. Um, That was great. That was great. Uh, What's next? Put in the comment. Until next time.